Hey guys, crisis averted. Let me just tip that on its side. Now, I took the clamps off Saturday morning after 16 hours of uh, it working the super glue. And on this side, it's slightly overlapping the bottom of the uh, the, bo the body, the silver underneath chassis, but I can forgive it. Better than it was, way better. On this side, it's totally flush, as you can see. Might need to touch up there, because basically what I did is I got a normal, like I said, with a normal uh, kitchen knife. Um, and you can see there as well, it's not level. You can see it's coming down underneath the exhaust pipe. But I can, like I said, I can forgive it because it looks better, way better than it was. And also, I've done a bit of construction. As you can see, I've put the air roof scoop on. I've also drilled the holes for the various antennas. Now, I know with the, when the decals go on, it will cover up those holes, but I, with this fine tip, I can just like dab them back through. Same as that hole there for the uh, for the the, the windows. The windows, the mirrors, I should say. Now, as you can see, I've masked it off around there with a the black. It's not perfect. There is a bit of paint bleed, but I'm hoping the decals will cover that up. And on the other side too, I've also put the photo etch grill on both sides there on the hood vents. I've also done the front grill as well. The bottom section, you got the top section, which is like slightly dry brushing silver. And then you've got the below part, below part of that, which is a photo etch. Spray painted that in black. Now, the night lights, as you can see, I'm connected now, but they're not glued in. I can actually remove them. So, hold on a tick. I'll just remove them for you. I've just paused it slightly, so pedals are doing it one-handed, so I'll just pause the video, and as you can see... It's fully removable, the holes there, you can just press them in, so I won't need to glue those in, which I'm quite chuffed about because I can get the full um, bonnet decal on, and then just, again, with the file, just poke through and then just attach those. Basically, I spray painted that in black, did the inners in silver, and then sealed them, and then put the clear bits in. The paint didn't run, which I was quite chuffed about. You've also... There's that one there and that one there. I've still got to paint those and basically those clip onto there. And again, I'll be able to remove those as well. I've also put the uh, front headlamps in. Again, painted the inside in silver with one from the inside. And then sealed it and then put the uh, clear glass on. I've also put that front grill as well. I've got to put the Ford logo on there as well, the Ford decal. I've also done the rear windows as well and the rear screen. Again, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Basically, I painted the clear sections three quarters red and that bit there masked it off and left that clear. You've also got the two on the back there, two bottom red pieces as well. Again, painted those in red, sealed them and glued them in and the glue didn't run at all, which I was quite chuffed with. You've also got the, the wing mirrors painted in the green which was Tamiya's X15. Now, same as the spoiler as well, as you can see, the X15 Tamiya paint is very, very watery. It's like water. So basically, it's got about six or seven coats. And like I said, there's your second uh, wing mirror. Now, I'll be gluing those in final construction once the decals are on. But uh, the Fiesta, as you can see, is all ready for decals. Stay with me, guys. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome back. The Fiesta is all done. Uh, the decals are on, uh, and the final construction is also finished. So here is the final reveal of the Fiesta. Right. 
As you can see, let me just lift the case off. The reason I've got it under the case is because the decals haven't gone on perfect, which I'll explain in a moment. The case, I've borrowed it off one of my Batman automobilia cars, um, which was like a magazine, and I think it's twice a month you get a new Batman car. I've only bought two issues. I've borrowed this case off the uh, Batman Forever car. Let me just take this off now. Right, sorry about the, there's not much light coming through the window. It's been, been a crap day with weather. So, anyway, as you can see, the wheels are now on. Decals are all on now. Now, it's not perfect because, again, there wasn't the kit decals. The, these decals are from a company called Colorado Decals from over in Portugal. And again, these are the 2011 uh, Kenblock Rally Germany. I don't know if you can make that out because of how much light. Basically, that hasn't pushed in properly. I've tried clear gloss. Um, the one thing I did try was Pritt Stick, and it's actually glued it down quite well, but not enough to close the wound, as it were. The major fault I was having was around the edges here. It wouldn't uh, stick down right. So again, I've got some Pritt Stick. After I picked the tip up off the internet, put it on the edge of a brush, got underneath, and it went down really well. Now the the main the one part I was worried about was where that four decal is. You could just make it out. Um, like I said, it wouldn't flatten down right, even though I put clear gloss underneath. So again, use some Pritt Stick and manage to fold it down really well. So the Pritt Stick has worked out really, really well. There's also an ADAC decal there. It's ADAC Rally Deutschland 43 for Le Kenblock's number. Also, I've glued the, tie, the, the wheels in now. Now, my one major qualm, again, was stepping over the wheel rims, the wheel arches, majorly over this, the two front wheel arches as well. So what I did is I got it down, put some uh, clear gloss underneath, and it was just like folding out like that. Then once that dry the day later, again, I got some Pritt stick underneath for the brush and flattened it down the best I can. There is some creases. Now, I've heard about this um, decal glue called Micros Microsol. And basically, I've, been, I've heard that if you brush it on, you leave it for like a day, and it shrinks the decals into the plastic so it looks like you've actually painted the decals on. Unfortunately, at the moment, it's £25 a bottle. So I'm going to America in a couple of months' time, and it'll only cost me about, say, maybe 6 maybe to $10 a bottle. Uh, Coraline might be able to confirm this. If you're watching Coraline, let me know how much it costs, but I'm pretty sure it'd probably be about $10 a bottle. So when I go to America, I'll buy a couple of bottles and then reapply this, and then the decals will shrink into the plastic and the folds will disappear. Now, and also, another thing as well, again, on the bonnet decal, it was very creased underneath the uh, night lights. So again, I managed to find the holes by pushing me uh, file, or tip file through, and I've just pushed that into place to hide those creases. There's also creases on there as well. There ain't much light, coming, as I say, coming through the window, so I'll take some stills, you'll be able to see what I mean. Also, I've mounted the, the um, auxiliary night lights as well. They, again, just clip into place. I haven't needed to glue them. So I'm really, really chuffed with that as well. Right, my brush cover just came off. Also, you got the antennas. Basically, again, in my fine, with my tipped file, just just jab the holes through. Just put a drop of super glue on the bottom of the um, antennas and put them all in. Now the middle one there, it was about up here where my brush is. But the only trouble is, I couldn't get the case on top of it, so I've cut it down slightly so the case will sit right on top of it. Also, you got the wing mirrors as well. I've put the DC Shoes logo on there. With the Ming mirrors, the one was pushed in fine, it didn't need gluing, but the other one need need gluing. So again, I just took them both out again, drop a super glue on the edge of the actual mounting tabs and push them into place. It looks real good. Right, now on this wheel, you've got the Ford and the, uh, D, the uh, Oz Racing. For some strange reason, even though I put them on and sealed them, they came off again. So I had to get the Ken Block ones. Um, they're slightly bigger than the kit, the kit ones that was on there. 
but I've managed to glue them on again so hopefully they won't come off again also again you can just make out there because what I did is I the, the decals they're very strong but you have to do some surgery and you have to cut them round because of the wheel arches and you can see there's a bit missing there what I'll do is I'll just top that with some grey paint I should have done that about an hour ago but I completely forgot I've just seen it also I've done round the uh, door handles as well you mount the decals and just get a standing knife and just cut or well, craft knife and just cut round the handles and then I topped it up with some grey and then uh, painted the handles in black also what I wanted to mention these these window decals here basically the car driver would push the window across hand the uh, the timekeeper when they finish the stage the notes for the window that decal was a bitch to put on I thought it'd be one complete square decal it isn't you got the square decal and then two lines that you have to bloody manually with your brush straighten and one actually did tear on me but I managed to get it back in the end well there she is guys oh one thing I wanted to ask you about as well the decal before I go the decals on the spoiler as well basically it was Hoonigan I've had to cut it into three parts the O, the second O in who, Hoon you cut it off there halfway through the O and halfway through the G to get past these two stanchions and they mounted really well as well that was one thing I forgot to tell you about well there she is guys decals were a pain in the arse but I got there in the end I'm also going to put some stills at the end of this video so you get a better look at it and you'll see what I mean about the creasing and the folding over the wheel arches but uh, Hopefully I haven't bored you too much and thanks for watching.